with what the machine are doing. I don't, I don't really, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't hear it. I know there's other people that are rappers. I know there are a lot of rappers in Washington Heights and beyond. I don't see it. If they're doing it, I don't know anything about it. So. So I started writing in the summer of 99, either before or after my high school uh, freshman orientation classes. And my brother had started writing in the spring before that, and I saw the process that they were recording, him and his group. And I was like, maybe I could try that. And I tried it. I liked the way it felt, just writing, putting my expressions down on paper. And eventually, it became something that I became addicted to making music. I'm quiet, but you don't really want it, fam. I skid a grouch, niggas get smacked with a garbage can. Now that's worth the me, the first to burn them third degree. Verbally, I'm known to switch it up, the flow is currency. Yeah. Please, please. Started writing in the uh, spring of 1999 with my homeboys. It was mostly just not serious. It was just for science class, of trying to keep up with the notes. And from then, it developed into an actual love of writing. You guys have fun together. You know, you see a lot of groups who, they're together on stage, but they're not together. Like, everybody has their, their own agenda, everybody has their, people have their own ego, and one person has to shine more than the other person in order for them to feel like some cohesiveness. So, when you guys are on stage, I'm like, something stupid is about to happen. And it's okay, because it's expected now. Making music uh, back in 2007, I would play music for my co-workers in the back room. We had makeshift speakers that we put together, fake iPod dock. I used to plug my iPod in there, battle dudes in the back. I always had better music, because my iPod crazy. I used to have over 40,000 songs in my iPod always. Always downloading music. Back since like 92, buying tapes, all the old school music. My uncles were always listening to music, so I was always exposed to hip hop. So I've always had a love for it. That's why I do what I do. Trust it, trust it. We take your life at night. Sorry, the new heights. I mean, who is on the mic? People views in sight. We like to excite. Whether for the love or the pleasure. There's more than five. We're back to what we done. Do it again. I got me done. When it will be landed. Get up, take it down. Turn madness. Waving at the light bulbs flashing. People. People. Yes, I got back into writing because me and Soli started doing poetry. We kick our verses back and forth for each other, and being that I've been influenced by hip hop, grew up with hip hop, my poetry just tended to have that kind of certain that hip hop structure where you put your 16 bars and your rhymes together, and kept at it. Um, it was about 22, 23 at the time that we started, you know, really getting into it. But basically, writing, been doing that since I guess school and they made us pick up a pen. Poetry in the fall of fourth grade, 
because my fourth grade teacher made the whole class do it. And once I started writing, I realized that I didn't really like writing poetry. I preferred to write rap. So I started writing rap and turning them in. And then kept writing. I often hold myself back for feeling feed in this sinking possibility that the only love I've known is causing me to pause, proceed with caution. Another love is an option. But if I've never been a multitasker, how am I supposed to handle this? Don't want to regret what I've missed. Maybe I've met them already. Maybe we've already kissed. But because I, uh, when I was growing up, I always said that I wanted to be a famous rapper, but it was always like a joke that I said, you know, I was like, oh, I want to be a famous rapper. And, um, and then I had been writing so much poetry that um, one day I just took my hand at writing a verse um, at a beat, um, over a beat that Chun produced, and it actually came out decent. So I wrote a few, uh, probably like three or four verses after that in the span of three years. <laughs> I wrote about four sixteens and around the time when the machine got together was when I started writing raps on a regular basis because well because that was just the thing to do. That was um, what everyone else was doing and by that time I felt confident in, in collaborating with them so that's what got me writing rap lyrics on a regular basis. Performing with that 80s, 90s gritty passion feel that emphasizes what hip hop is truly about from the days of Big Daddy Kane and Trap Court West and De La Soul. It feels real, it feels authentic, and it's good to be out here experiencing it. That was beautiful. <laughs> I just want to say that to you. It was the part. best by far. That was. It was like, it, it touched was. my soul. I mean, I'm see, serious. sometimes it, I don't even have to speak uh, because. It touched my soul. It touched uh, his soul. It touched my soul. And it was so. It was so, uh, I couldn't even, I don't got no he, words to explain. Look at that. Yeah. He added in for me, so I didn't even have to speak. But I'm going to speak anyway. The rhyming is so defined and on point. I am impressed and I am privileged to be around you guys. And not only to be around, but to call you family. And they have to be the most slept on group in this city. The day that the machine really hits this underground, New York is not going to know what the fuck to do with themselves. They are amazing, talented, and their hearts are bigger than Trump. <laughs> your creativity, um, your work ethic, um, that's what defines your group and it sets your group apart from other people um, in our neck of the woods who are trying to do the same thing. And um, you guys have definitely influenced a lot of other people to come out and have the courage um, to do music as well.